Welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we have one very, very interesting and challenging question from HMMT2025. Here we have to evaluate the smallest possible value of x, y, z. Given that x, y, z belongs to positive real numbers. And we have three known equations. So let's get started by writing here x power log y, z with base 2 equal to 2 power 8 times 3 power 4. This is our first given equation. Now we are going to take log with base 2 both sides. Here also we will write log base 2. Now we will use two properties from log. First one is log AB equal to log a plus log b which we are going to apply in the LHS. But before that we will use log a power b equal to b log a. Let's apply both the properties to our first equation. We will get, we will take this exponent as a multiplier and here we will apply log a b formula which is property number 1. Let us apply and write here log yz with base 2 times log x with base 2 equal to log 2 power 8 with base 2 plus log 3 power 4 with base 2. Now we will apply log ab equal to log a plus log b. So we can write log y plus log z everywhere we have base 2 times log x equal to 8 times log 2 base 2 log 2 base 2 is 1 so we will write 8 only plus 4 log 3 base is 2 everywhere we have base 2 now we will use substitution let us say log x base 2 is a log y base 2 is b log z base 2 is c this is our substitution so we can write our equation b plus c times a equal to 8 plus 4 log 3 base 2 let me write equation here. We can write AB plus AC equal to AB plus AC equal to 8 plus 4 log 3 base 2. We will call this is our equation number 1. Now we have to consider our second equation y power log zx with base 2 equal to 2 power 9 times 3 power 6. Again we will consider log base 2 both sides. So we will write here log base 2 and this side also we will write log base 2. Again we will use the same log properties and we can get our second equation BC plus AB equal to 9 plus 6 times log 3 base 2. This would be equation second. Similarly, if we will write our third equation z power log xy with base 2 equal to right hand side was 2 power 5 times 3 power 10 base is 2. Again, we will use our substitution and log base 2 both sides. Using properties of log we will get our third equation which we will write CA or AC plus BC equal to 5 plus 10 times log 3 base 2. This is our third equation. Now we will subtract third equation from second one. So you can see BC and BC will be over. We will write 2 minus 3. 
सो वी आर गोइंग टू गेट ए बी माइनस ए सी और सी ए इक्वल टू नाइन माइनस फाइव इज फोर सिक्स माइनस टेन इज माइनस फोर सो वी विल गेट लॉग थ्री बेस टू एंड दिस इक्वेशन वी विल कॉल इक्वेशन नंबर फोर नाउ वी हैव इक्वेशन वन ए बी प्लस ए सी लेट मी राइट हेयर एंड इक्वेशन फोर सो आई विल राइट अवर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ए बी प्लस ए सी इक्वल टू एट प्लस फोर टाइम्स लॉग थ्री बेस टू एंड इक्वेशन नंबर फोर ए बी माइनस ए सी इक्वल टू फोर माइनस फोर टाइम्स लॉग टू लॉग थ्री विथ बेस टू नाउ वी विल एड बोथ द इक्वेशन सिंपली वंस वी विल एड दीज टू प्लस ए सी माइनस ए सी विल बी ओवर सो वी विल गेट टू टाइम्स ए बी इक्वल टू एट प्लस फोर विज ट्वेल्व नाउ वी विल डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाई टू ए बी विल कम आउट सिक्स दिस इज अवर ए बी इक्वल टू सिक्स नाउ वी विल राइट अवर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ए बी प्लस ए सी इक्वल टू एट प्लस फोर टाइम्स लॉग थ्री बेस टू नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू प्लग इन ए बी वैल्यू हेयर सो वी विल गेट सिक्स प्लस ए सी इक्वल टू एट प्लस फोर टाइम्स लॉग थ्री बेस टू सो फ्रॉम हेयर वी विल गेट ए सी इक्वल टू एट माइनस सिक्स इज टू प्लस फोर टाइम्स लॉग थ्री बेस टू This is our AC. Similarly, we will use second equation. Second equation was BC plus AB equal to nine plus six times log three base two. Again, we will plug in AB value here. So we will get BC value. AB is six, so nine minus six is three. 3 plus 6 log 3 base 2. So we have AB, AC, and BC. Now we will multiply all the three equations: AB, AC, and BC. Let me write here: AB times BC times CA or AC. This will be equal to 6 times 3 plus 6 log 3 base 2. This is BC, and CA or AC is two plus four times log three base two. Now we can take three common from this bracket, two common from this bracket. So we can write six times three times two. In the bracket, we will get one plus two log three base two times one plus two log three base two. Now six times six is six is square, so we can write six is square, and then we have one plus two times log three base two whole square. In LHS we are going to write a square, b square, c square. So I can write a b c whole square will be equal to six times one plus two log three base two, and then complete square. Now we will take square root both sides. So we are going to get a b c equal to plus minus six times one plus two times log three base two. Now we have two values of a b c. Now we will write our substitution here. If I will write substitution, log x base two was a log y with base 2 is b log z with base 2 is c this was our substitution so from first equation i can write x equal to 2 power a from second equation y will come out 2 power b from third equation z will be 2 power c now we will multiply these three equations so we can write here x y z value let me write here x y z this will be equal to 
टू पार ए टाइम्स टू पार बी टाइम्स टू पार सी नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द मिनिमम पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड फॉर एक्स वाई जेड टू बी मिनिमम ए बी सी शुड बी नेगेटिव ए बी सी शुड बी नेगेटिव देन ओनली वी आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस प्रोडक्ट एक्स वाई जेड मिनिमम सो वी आर गोइंग टू रिजेक्ट दिस प्लस साइन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट ओनली माइनस सो आई विल राइट ए बी सी वैल्यू दिस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू नेगेटिव सिक्स टाइम्स वन प्लस टू टाइम्स लॉग थ्री बेस टू नाउ वी कैन राइट अवर ए बी बी सी सी ए इक्वेशन सो दैट वी विल डिवाइड एंड गेट ए बी एंड सी वैल्यू सो ए बी वॉज सिक्स बी सी वॉज थ्री प्लस सिक्स लॉग थ्री बेस टू एंड सी ए और ए सी वॉज टू प्लस फोर log 3 base 2 now we will find a value just by dividing abc by bc let's divide abc is minus 6 times 1 plus 2 log 3 base 2 and bc is 3 plus here it is 3 plus 6 log 3 base 2 we will take Three common out, so in the bracket we can write one plus two log three base two. Now we will cancel these two brackets. Minus six over three is minus two. So we have a known a equal to minus two. Similarly, we will calculate b just by dividing a b c by a c or c a. So I can write minus six times one plus two log three base two divided by two plus four. Here it is. So we can take two common out. In bracket we can write one plus two log three base two. Again we will cancel these two brackets. Minus six over two is minus three. So b is negative three. Similarly, we will calculate C by dividing ABC by AB. ABC is minus six times one plus two log three base two, and AB is six. So we will get minus of one plus two times log three base two. so we have six value also minus of 1 plus 2 times log 3 base 2 now we have to calculate x y z so we will write x y z equation this was equal to 2 power a times 2 power b times 2 power c now we will apply exponent law we can write 2 power a plus b plus c now we have a known a is equal to minus 2 b known minus 3 c is also known minus in the bracket 1 plus 2 log 3 base 2 let's plug in all the values here we will get x y z equal to 2 par a is minus 2 b is minus 3 C is minus one minus two log three with base two. So minus two minus three is minus five minus one minus six. So we'll write two power minus six minus two times log three with base two. Now power is negative. We can take this whole term into the denominator, and we can write two power six plus. 2 log 3 base 2 now we will use exponent law and we can write let me write this x y z value here so we will write x y z equal to 1 over 2 power 6 plus 
टू टाइम्स लॉग थ्री विद बेस टू नाउ वी विल स्प्लिट वी विल राइट वन ओवर टू पार सिक्स टाइम्स टू पार टू लॉग थ्री बेस टू नाउ वी विल टेक दिस टू एज अ पार ऑफ थ्री हेयर सो वी कैन राइट वन ओवर टू पार सिक्स इज सिक्सटी फोर times 2 par this 2 will be the power of 3 we can write 2 par log 3 par 2 with base 2 will be equal to 1 over 64 times 2 par log 9 base is 2 now we know that a par log b with base c can be written as b par log A with base C, we can switch two and nine. So we will write one over sixty-four times nine par log two with base two. Log two with base two is one. So we are going to get x, y, z value one over sixty-four times nine. This will come out one over five hundred and seventy-six. so our final answer for the minimum value of x y z will be 1 over 576 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye